All right, so I'm getting ready to wash my hair with the Odell products I was telling you about on my last vlog. Um, so I got the conditioner and I got the shampoo. So I'm just gonna go wash my hair and come back and tell you how the experience went. today <laughs> I probably will end up retwisting my hair sometime in the next couple days and then I'll just put it in this video because you know I have to have time to do that and uh, we'll see but yes this is my hair post wash um, it is what it is maybe I'm expecting too much from the shampoo but if anybody has any like sh shampoo recommendations, this is so bad. Look how connected that is. So I'm just gonna moisturize my hair real quick. Um, I don't know if I ever showed you guys, but if you follow me on my Instagram, you would know that I use this Rasta Wipe Hair Softener Leave-In Conditioner like this, and I've been using this Adwa Beauty shine oil just i've been using these too so i'll link them down below but i'm just gonna moisturize my hair real quick this is what i normally do this is what i've been using and if it's not that oil it honestly is something basic like coconut oil or olive oil i don't um use a lot on my hair but sometimes people they want to know what i'm using and this is something that well, this is, I would consider, a staple in my routine. Once I'm out, I definitely will be buying that again. It definitely, um, it leaves a nice scent on my hair, and it makes it smooth and leaves it moisturized. And I definitely feel a difference in my hair after I use that. This oil, I'm kind of like still testing it out. I use it on my hair and my daughter's hair. Um, so, we'll see. But I'm just going to spray this in your hair. Okay, after I'm done that, I just go with my oil. And I 
use a lot of the stuff. today and I want to use the Roman powder I was showing you guys in my last vlog I'm going to just try and do this hopefully it works and yeah let's do it so I've seen some makeup artists using this palette and um, a lot of them said to supply it and swipe I'm putting down a base because um, I have blue eyes they tend to crease I'm gonna put down an eyeshadow primer and then an eyeshadow. So to give it something to stick to, because I know my eyes and I know that this won't be that easy. So I'm just gonna take this color here. What is this? Um, ombre sculpting powder. So I'm gonna take that here. keep it light I'm gonna try and do this shade and these two shades today wish me luck <laughs> wish me luck let's see they said to apply it and then swipe so I'm gonna build up some product on my hand brush and blend it out. Okay, so that's how we're looking. I like it so far. I think it's pretty. So I'm just going to add a little bit in the middle for a pop of color, which I don't normally do, but we're going to just try that out today. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I I like how it's looking. Let me finish up the eyes and then I'm gonna come back. 
ever done your makeup so good and it looks so good off camera, but when you're on camera, it just looks like crap? That's how I feel right now. My makeup looks like crap on camera. This is not resonating with you guys. I don't know if it's my phone or what, but... twisting it and showing you how I do it in my next vlog but yeah that didn't happen because I was trying to get my daughter's hair done and I mean life with a baby is unpredictable so it is what it is. Mm -hmm. 